Hi, and welcome to Biostock. Medtech CLS recently have released their report for the second quarter, and we are joined by CEO Don Milgan, who will tell us more. Welcome, Don. Thank you very much. So if we start with an overview of the second quarter, what was the most important events for CLS? Well, I think we showed uh, the market that we're now having um, some progress on the U.S. market. So we have achieved some success in reaching out to the urology community in the U.S. Um, we have achieved um, a number of new uh, meetings uh, with urology clinics on the U.S. market, which have resulted in that we now have a total of five accounts in the U.S. Some of these accounts are evaluating our technology uh, for future decisions to to purchase technologies or purchase services from ClearPoint. Oh, sorry, from CLS on the on the Tronberg systems or services within our um, mobile uh, service provider model that we offer um, to the market. We have also uh, increased the organization in the U.S. Um, in order to achieve our objectives and goals, commercial goals for the U.S. market, we have added to the organization a head of business development slash sales in, in, uh, in Rick Wilderrotter, who is a seasoned uh, uh, executive um, that we have hired from, he previously worked at Healthtronics which is an organization that is uh, focused on this particular segment of the market. So I think all in all, we have, we have achieved a lot in the urology segment that we have set out to achieve. Now, coming to the clear point segment or the neurosurgical segment, um, we have an ongoing uh, limited market release uh, of the PRISM system on the U.S. market. And ClearPoint have managed also to add additional installations within that program and CLS obviously supporting that. Uh, another, I think, great achievement uh, where additional patients within both these segments are now being treated with, with our products. And you have an, an, a stated ambition of achieving, I just need to look at the numbers, 100 million Swedish kroner in revenue by 2025. So what will drive that growth? So both these market segments will drive this growth. And, and particularly in the U.S. market, uh, as we have said before, we think about two-thirds of our sales revenues will be generated on the U.S. market. Uh, and about one-third will come from Asian Pacific market and the European market combined. And out of those, it will be the majority of the revenues coming from the urology segment. Uh, but we're very excited to see also what's going to happen in the neurosurgical market uh, as we have more information coming from that limited market release of the PRISM system. And then uh, to this point, it, lo it looks very interesting to us. And you have raised 114 million Swedish in a rights issue of units. Is that enough to cover your capital needs? So there's a combination here. We have that rights issue. Um, again, yes, we achieved 114 million before the cost of the, of the rights issue. Um, in addition to that, we have the warrant program which runs in, in Jan, February in 2024. Uh, those two combined with the planned sales revenues that we have is what we believe will be sufficient to bring us to that goal of 100 million sec at the end of 25 uh, and a cash positive situation. And what milestones can we look forward to for CLS for the rest of 2023? So 23, one of the exciting things now, I think I, I said it's also in my report here, the whole Asian Pacific market, which we have communicated a couple of times before, it is very interesting to us. I'm slightly disappointed with the duration it has taken to get the clearance. We think we get that uh, within this last bit of 2023, uh, that's half year of 23, and that we could actually start generating, open that market and generating revenues starting in Singapore. That's that's a bit very exciting uh, for us. Also, as I mentioned, um, additional milestones within the limited market release of the PRISM system to generate more installations there, generate more installations within the uh, urology community uh, in US particularly, of the Tronberg systems for, for MR-fused ultrasound-guided focal therapy of prostate cancer patients. As we're seeing this progress, as I mentioned earlier on, on the US market, we will continue uh, to work on that progress in the last six months of this year uh, to achieve those milestones. Um, I think this is really uh, exciting times we're in right now. Then we've had both a look back at CLS's Q2 and a look ahead. Thank you so much for coming, Don. Thank you very much.